So now let's calculate the work done by the force field, fxy equals xex 2xy along the curve C given by the graph, y equals x cubed, and x is bound between 0 and 1. So if we write our work formula, we recall that work is just a contour integral of this f dot dr, and we're already given the force, right? So we still need to figure out, well, how do I write the contour in a single parameter? How do I write my integrand, my force, and my little differential dr all in one parameter? And so to here, the natural uh, parameter to use really is x. But I'll just go ahead and write everything in terms of time because typically when we parameterize, uh, we, we like to know sort of how things, maybe a position changes in time or maybe uh, how this work plays out in time. So on the side here, I'll just write, well, let's let x equal to t. You see, if x is t, then y becomes t cubed. My bounds are my limits of integration for t are between 0 and 1. And it's clear I need my dr. And since my dr vector is just a collection of dx and dy, I'll need to take the rate of change of my x with respect to t. And I get dx dt is just 1. So my dx is just 1 dt. And my dy is 3t squared dt. So now I go back here and I'm able to write out my work. It's the integral from t equals 0 to 1. Let's see what my force is. I have x e x. So x e x, that's going to give me t e t. All right, so everyone see an x, I plug in a t. And then my second component is 2 x y. So I have 2 x is t and y is t cubed. That's my force, dotted with my dr. So I write my vector dx dy. So I get dt, well, 1. Let's just write as 1, 3t squared. And let's bring the dt on the outside of the vector. So now, it should be pretty straightforward. I get the integral from 0 to 1. If I take my dot product, I get a tt. It's a if I simplify this, I get a 2t to the fourth. Right? So I get a plus. 2 times 3 is 6. t to the fourth and t squared gives me a 6t to the sixth dt. All right. So the polynomial expression is pretty simple to integrate. Um, but what about this tet? So if I were to integrate this, it seems I'm going to need to use uh, integration by parts. And if I integrate tet, let's see, I'll let u equal to the t, then du by dt is just 1, so du is just dt, and then my dv picks up the et dt, which says that my v is e to the t. So now, if I just wrote out this expression, let's see what I get. I get u times v, or tet, some of us may just remember this, minus the integral of v du, and remember this is tet sort of evaluated from 0 to 1, minus the integral of v du, minus et dt. That's sort of the reason why we always choose a polynomial function, because we know that in a derivative it reduces, uh, whereas this et would constantly show up in your, uh, uh, your v du. So, and let's see, where am I? So I have this. Uh, plus, well, I can go ahead and carry out this integral. I get 6t7 over 7. And that should be evaluated from 0 to 1. So it seems like the only thing that I still need to carry out is this last integral, which is pretty straightforward. So now I get that my work is t e to the t. So I get 1 e to the 1, which is e to the 1, uh, minus... 0 e to the 0, which is 0, minus this integral of et is just et evaluated from 0 to 1, uh, plus, well, this guy only survives at the upper limit. You see at the lower limit it vanishes, so I'll just write plus 6 sevenths. 
Next, I'll just continue on. I get e to the first power minus 0 minus e to the first power minus a minus e to the 0, which is plus 1, plus, plus 6 sevenths. All right, so that makes life easy. And then 1 plus 6 sevenths is the same thing as 7 sevenths and 6 sevenths, which gives me 13 over 7 joules of work. Thank you.